Let's talk about fibrinoid necrosis. Fibrinoid means fibrous tissue and necrosis means death of body tissue. Let's get into it. And necrosis can be caused by injury, infection, cancer, infarction, toxins, and inflammation. It can also arise from a lack of proper care to a wound site. And you are seeing an example of necrosis on the top side. And fibrinoid necrosis is a form, a cellular death that results in the formation of a fibrous tissue. And it's usually occurring in the blood vessels. This is important. Fibrinoid necrosis occurs in the blood vessels. And it's often a result of very high blood pressure. And that high blood pressure uh, causing damage the cells in the blood vessels. It is leading to a cell death. And fibrinoid necrosis of arteries is associated with endothelial damage. And it is characterized by entry and accumulation of serum proteins, then fibrin polymerization. First, accumulation of serum proteins, then fibrin polymerization. One of which you are seeing an example of fibrinoid necrosis in a patient who has polyarthritis nodosa. Generally, immune complexes combine with fibrin and that causes vessel wall damage. And this is an example of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. On histology, we will see thick and pink vessel walls. And you are seeing histology bright pink stain on the vessel walls. As I said, it is characterized histologically by thick and bright pink staining color of vessel walls. This is important. Uh, you can see all the diseases with fibrinoid necrosis from image. and But most important ones are malignant hypertension, which is an emergency, vasculitis, for example, polyarthritis nodosa, and preeclampsia on pregnancy. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found it helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends.